So I'm Wiebe Dreyer, I lead Rabobank in the Netherlands, a cooperative bank. I have given uh, the audience three messages. One is that uh, this world of change that is disrupting the financial industry is really around to how to gear the financial sector towards customer needs. That there is an ideal place for a cooperative bank to do that because society is moving there and that the new technology is part of what we do. It's not an old world, it's the new world inside. So Rabobank is a, is a mission-led bank that, uh, that aims to really make a difference in society. And I know, I know this sounds a little slick, but the funny part is that it's actually real. And from that mission, we are driving change in the food chain in the world. We want to help feed about 9 billion people in 2050. And all of our innovations in the food world are geared around making that happen. And the same thing is true for a cooperative bank in the Netherlands. We want to help lift the country. And all of our innovations are, ge are geared towards where can the country best be lifted. And so that's the journey that we're on. And that's on top of just, let's say, the household innovation of making the inside of a bank more digital. Well, the difficulty is that as you go through these kinds of changes, on the one hand of changing the existing and at the same time building for the future, is that almost every individual employee of the bank is affected by that change. And so you're asking them to think ahead while their own job is being disrupted and uncertain. And that's a, a stretch that is very hard for them to go through, but it's a reality that we have to go to anyway. And so I use it as a teaching ground for getting used to the new reality of continuous change. But that part of how do you keep a professional connected to the change that we're after is a real difficulty for leading a bank like a cooperative that I'm leading. The disruption in, in, in Rabobank is, is uh, well, I frame it every day as, as, as something that is, we need to reinvent the basis of banking for the future. We need to go beyond what is banking. We need to find the new way of serving clients, forgetting that we are a bank almost. And that's the kind of questions I pose every day, every day. We have a whole uh, flow of programs to drive to that level of change. What excites me most about the future of the industry is that it can, with the use of new technology, connect to the old way of advising on a person-to-person -person warm relationship with clients with new technology. And through that, we can open up lots of new possibilities that step away from the old way of banking, where the balance sheet is the core of the bank, towards a new world where the need of the client is the core of a bank. And the question that you raised was around uh, what I can give advice, uh, what kind of advice I can give to uh, a new entrepreneur. And I think most entrepreneurs uh, start with the mindset that we're going to disrupt the financial industry. I think they should put into their mindset the notion of how can I partner with the financial industry to serve the clients better? Because that's an even bigger space of disruption than just the financial industry itself. Oh, I think it's a big melting pot, this Money 2020 conference, uh, where, where the, the existing, existing banks and financial institutions meet all these entrepreneurs and fintech startups. And, and, and this is really where this connection that I spoke about takes place. It's a wonderful place. Well, I'm hoping to convey a level of enthusiasm here about how a giant like a cooperative bank can be the platform of change in a financial industry that's in disruption, rather than a legger or a, a one that's bypassed. And that's what I'm hoping to achieve and hoping to see in my, with my presence here, is this is where it actually happens, where fintech hits the road, where they come together at meeting clients. And that's what I'm about.